To say yesterday's Nintendo Direct was really exciting is probably selling it short. But today, we have to update you on a bunch of stuff. And this video, we're going to be focusing on Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Oh, yes, we have that reveal trailer. It was epic. But we actually know some additional information about the game, including some all-new in-game footage. So... To explain where this footage came from, first we need to go over and look at this. This is the Metroid Prime 4 Beyond official website in Japan. And you can see it's got this image in the background, but it's actually a playable video. Here's the footage. And as you see, you got some uh, birds or something flying around, some environmental stuff going on. You're seeing a grander look at the world of Metroid Prime 4. Lots of waterfalls and very tropical, rainforesty kind of vibe, massive tree canopies. I don't know if we'll ever get to go up and visit some of those tree canopies, but it's pretty crazy. It's about 20 seconds of footage. We'll repeat it for you as well because, again, this is all new footage of the game. I, I don't know if you call this in-engine or in-engine environmental footage. Now, this footage might look a little bit brighter than you might expect uh it has been enhanced because the footage was ripped by a user over on the metroid reddit here uh, they said the editor to improve the brightness and exposure because basically they wanted you to see some of the details and you know the footage was meant to be a background on a on, on a website so there is that so uh, we just have to keep in mind that there's a lot going on here with metroid prime 4 but that's not the only update we have for you of course uh because Look, according to Nintendo World Report, and we have this loaded up over here on Reddit, uh, it looks like the game is going to be 720p docked. And some people might be upset because it was originally 900p in terms of Metroid Prime Remaster, but that was with much smaller environments and less things going on. Uh, so 720p and Doctor could make sense. What it's going to be in handheld, who the heck knows? 480? Uh, I hope it's not any lower than 480. Now, obviously, this could really you know grind some of your gears because 720p is not even 1080p and we're on like a 4k display at home almost every tv in my house is 4k so 720p is going to be some problems this also could explain why it is actually a 2025 game because if they're going to release it on the nintendo switch 2 which they note here it could go up to 1440p or even maybe 4k so if you want it to look good on your 4k tvs maybe hey get the switch 2 version of the game again we don't know if that's going to be the case another Another thing that we do know about the game is it is 60 fps and you might go well how can we confirm that well all you gotta do is do frame counting on the trailer if you frame count the trailer it is indeed 60 fps now look my general thoughts on metroid prime 4 because i haven't really gotten a lot of them out there that's the news by the way there's not going to be any more new news here is that metroid prime 4 beyond is a game that is really really exciting to me it's everything i want from metroid prime and more i know some people debate about the graphics and the visuals and all of that look guys this thing is running on nintendo switch okay can we be clear like this has been no more obvious this is nintendo switch footage than the fact that it's 720p so guys like let's just be very very earnest and honest about what we're seeing here we're seeing the best of what the nintendo switch is capable to output we don't know if the water and all the fire and all the other visuals will be upgraded on a possible switch 2 version because we didn't see that switch 2 version today and anyone who thought man this looks too good to be on switch well you're actually incorrect this is literally a switch 2 version that's why it's running 720p now that being set aside I just want to throw out there that, you know, one thing I, I, I have really high hopes for Metroid Prime 4 is it can somehow break the barrier. Uh, Metroid seems to be at this barrier that it can't seem to get to that next level of popularity beyond 2 to 3 million in sales. I'm really hopeful that Metroid Prime 4 is the game that can do that. The trailer has performed incredibly well. It already has a million views on YouTube. But, and, you know, if you look at something like a Mario or a Zelda, like, it's got significantly more views. So I'm not so sure that Metroid Prime 4, at least this initial reveal trailer is going to break that barrier but this is just the beginning right this is just the beginning we only saw really the intro area of the game even that extra 20 seconds of footage today just shows a little bit of environmental stuff if there's some crazy gameplay or some crazy um, partial open world segments or something they didn't show that and that's the kind of stuff that could maybe make this appeal to a broader audience I do like that they gave it a you know a subtitle I, I understand Metroid Prime 4 it could actually the number four could be a little off-putting at times because 
because people will think, well, man, I need to play the prior three to enjoy this. That's typically not the case with Metroid. There is an ongoing connected story in the Prime games. But if you didn't play the prior three, you'll probably be just fine with Metroid Prime 4. It'll probably explain enough to understand what's going on. But setting that aside... You know, I, I just, I, I really like what we see. Metroid Prime 4 is, it, we've been waiting a long time for this game, right? And now it's in 2017. Uh, a lot of people were wondering, you know, is this game vaporware? Are they ever going to release it? You know, we were hearing murmurs last year that the game was maybe close to done or at least in a stage where it was in the final stages of development. Uh, it's probably a game that's already done developing. I, I want to be clear. Uh, this looks like a fully polished, finished product. I mean, look at looking at that trailer, man, there's no way that this this looks like a game that's still in development to me. This game is probably done. However, because they looks like, especially with 720p, that they maybe want to launch this on Switch and Switch 2 at the same time. Well, Switch 2 is probably next year. And that 2025 indicator is probably the biggest indicator we have that Switch 2 is a 2025 release, not 2026 like some people think. Uh, and that's just because, again, this game, it looks like a game that needs more power. <laughs> it just needs a little bit more power. So we, 720p, I'm sorry, 720p in docked mode is, is a little rough for me for a Nintendo first-party game. 900 P is fine, but it's whatever. Uh, I think the game looks incredible. There's so much going on. Silux is back. I mean, we should we should be surprised that Silux is back, but he's back and he's ready to do whatever with that Metroid. Actually, he's got a couple Metroids. You know, if you remember the end of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, you know, the whole Metroid thing. Well, he's got a couple Metroids. He's back doing whatever the heck he's doing. Uh, there's obviously in a research facility because that's what it says at the beginning of the trailer. Uh, and there's other people fighting, not just Samus. So that's pretty cool. Can we interact with them? Can we fight with them? Can we save them? Do we get anything when we save them? Uh, and I gotta say, maybe this is just me, but this entire intro trailer, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever played Halo, but if you've played Halo 4 specifically, there's a, a little bit of Halo 4 campaign vibes going on for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm going a little crazy there with that comparison, but there are developers that are working on this game that actually worked on Halo. So, it, you know, the comparisons to me, I don't think are too far fetched. But again, we've only ever seen, you know, really one enemy type here with the space pirates, and there, there's probably going to be other things that we fight and other things going on. Very clearly, what we saw is. is intro area to the game they're not going to reveal everything right now when the game doesn't come out till next year but i do suspect we're going to see more about this game we might not see any more metroid prime 4 in 2024 uh, that could be entirely possible unless like switch 2 is revealed and then they'd reveal in the switch 2 reveal that it's also going to be on uh, Nintendo Switch 2, then you might see some new footage. But I, I can imagine that the real marketing for this game will begin next year at some point. I could see this being a summer or you know even a Halloween type release next year. So maybe we'll see more about it next summer. Uh, and that's maybe when it has the chance to really blow people away and, and garner that bigger audience. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, we don't obviously know if it has multiplayer or anything else. We don't really know much other than you, can, you have missile launchers, the more ball is back uh the, the the radar is back the map is back uh the scanning looks way more intuitive you don't have to switch to like different visors it doesn't look like it just sounds like you come up upon something and it's like this instant scan you know something that would be more akin to modern technology today rather than having to switch modes it just recognizes hey you want to scan this thing so it does it um, I, I'm just really impressed with everything we've seen with Metroid Prime 4. Again, for all you naysayers out there, I don't know what you were expecting to see with this game. It is, after all, a Nintendo Switch game. Uh, you shouldn't be expecting to have the most intense graphics. And I will say, uh, look, Metroid Prime didn't have the most intense graphics, nor did 2, nor did 3. Let's just be realistic here. This is a Nintendo game on Nintendo hardware, and it looks really damn good for what it is. Uh, and we don't play games for graphics. We play it for gameplay, and the gameplay looks incredible. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Hope you enjoyed the new footage and the new information and all of that, and we'll keep you updated right here on everything new happening with Metroid Prime 4. Beyond. Beyond. <laughs>